Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel. Today I'm going to make a couple tuna melts for lunch, but before I do that, I want to give a shout out to a friend of mine, uh, Bill, and um, his channel is called Gone Fishing, and he's retired, and it's a pretty new channel, he likes to fish, likes to cook, and he has a really neat grill that he built himself that he uh, cooks on sometimes, and I've, I've seen him uh, cook some really good looking fish on there. And uh, he also does some stuff in the house. I've seen him make like fish spreads with fresh caught fish that he's caught himself. So I'll put the link up at the end of this video and go check him out. I'm using two cans of tuna for this. And I usually buy the tuna in water. And I've already put one can in. I've opened this one and drained the water out. <clears throat> then we're just going to add some mayonnaise and a few seasonings to that. Now, I really don't like a lot of mayonnaise in my tuna. This is kind of a personal preference thing. My stepdaughter likes it probably as much mayonnaise as tuna. It's almost like soup. But um, I'm just start off with that much, and then I can add more after I mix it if I want to. Okay, a little bit of lemon juice. Give it a nice lemony flavor. And a little bit of uh, dill weed, California dill weed. So uh, not too much of that. That looks about right. Just kind of eyeball that. And a little bit of onion powder. And I've made tuna spread many ways. I've put pickles in it. I've put um, all kinds of stuff in it. But that's what I'm, how I'm doing it today. Now I'm just going to mix it all together. Okay, the tuna's all mixed up, and I made a couple pieces of toast here. I already put together one sandwich, and I decided to put some dill pickle slices on there. I'm just going to put a piece of American cheese on the top, and uh, let me get the other one put together, and then we'll just broil those in the toaster oven. I turned the oven to broil, but I just realized I can't put it in that top slot. Those are too tall, so I guess we'll have to put it down here in that slot. We just want the cheese to melt. Okay, it's been five minutes or so. Let's see how these look. Look good to me. Okay, let's have a quick bite of this. It turned out good. Thanks for watching, you guys. And go check out Gone Fishing. I'll put the link up.